26, the amazing beast of Turin. 28 litres, four cylinders, and uh, Duncan wrestling with the gear change and the uh, handbrake. He told me last year that he had never yet used full throttle around Goodwood, and he certainly won't be using full throttle today. So Duncan actually is up to second quickest. So a real battle of the old land speed record cars. This one was timed at 136 miles an hour in Belgium on a track near Ostend. But the problem was there was a tramway alongside the track and the rules said that you had to turn around within an hour and go back the other way but the tram driver resolutely refused to let them run. It <laughs> uh, will upset his schedule, so it never officially got the land speed record. Then it belonged to a Russian aristocrat who took it out to Australia, and uh, I was looking for the appropriate verb, but he, he hustled it along the bumpy roads in Australia, ending up in a ditch, and that's where it stayed for, golly. 80 years or so. Mm -hmm. So Mark Walker is currently in fourth place. Ben in Blitzen is up to third. Julie Majoub is in sixth place in a genuine Indianapolis Sunbeam, which is totally original. It hasn't got a, a modern engine. Oh, it's a very close battle between the Worsley of William 12, 12 trees and we flash back to Duncan in S76 so Julian Majoub in uh, the Sunbeam is currently lying six behind him Matthias Silecki in the chain drive very early Bugatti James, Co James Colleen, Collins, no relation, is eighth in his Hudson in Indy, Sun Indy Sunbeam. And he uh, Hudson, I beg his pardon. We've now got Huey Walker having gone to the top of the times by six seconds from Duncan Pitaway. Wow. But here he storms up towards the line. And does he narrow the margin at the end of that lap? 